Have you ever dreamed of going on a real treasure hunt in the Caribbean? Well, then you're in the right place. In today's episode, we're bringing you on the ultimate adventure. In last week's episode, I showed you a glimpse of all the new activities you should try out on your next vacation to St. Thomas. Today's activity was on top of our list and we're so excited to show you how we spent a full day looking for gold with the Tropical Treasure Hunt Company here in the Caribbean. If you're new here, my name is Camilla and I'm a travel photographer and filmmaker and I make travel series from all over the world here on YouTube. I'm here to inspire your next adventure and find the best places for you to stay around the world. John and I just spent two weeks in the Virgin Islands and this is episode 3 of our brand new 2023 Caribbean travel series. Now let's find out if there are any hidden treasures left on this island. We started off the day at Captain's Quarters at the Tropical Treasure Hunt storefront in Haven Site. It's such a cool space where you can meet new pirates, old pirates, and find tons of old treasures in every corner. I've always wanted to do a treasure hunt, so I was so excited to try the Salty Piracy Adventure. This experience is a collaboration between the Tropical Treasure Hunt and Seahorse Water Taxi, two local companies here in St. Thomas. John and I met up with the rest of the group that will be joining us for the day. We all got briefed on the history of the golden age of piracy and got to learn more about today's adventure and mission. This experience is like an escape room. Just instead of one stressful hour, you have a whole day on a boat where you will enjoy snorkeling to different beaches, solving riddles, and eventually the mission, finding the hidden treasure that'll break Pirate Anne Bonnie's 300 year old curse. Before we embarked on our adventure and solved the first riddle, we had to do some group exercises to make sure we could handle whatever task would come our way. Okay guys, so we are here outside the first clue on this adventure. It's the Pirate Treasure Museum here in St. Thomas and it's actually closed today so we have to find our own little entrance and so I think I think the rest of the crew found an entrance because we even had locals screaming that it was closed today. So now we found out that this gate is open. But yeah, we found this door that's open. Wow. I have no idea where we're going. Ooh. What we're looking for inside the museum is a 300 year old map that we have to borrow to find our next location. Even if you're not part of this adventure, a visit to the Pirate Treasure Museum is a fun activity to learn more about the pirate history of the U.S. Virgin Islands. So we are inside the museum, we found a way in, and we have already found like I think two or three clues. I'm not going to show you where all the clues are, but I can say as much as they are located in this museum. So now hopefully we're going to find the last clue. The piece of the map is missing, so we're looking around. The crew is doing a great job. I'm actually not helping that much. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'll, so I'll get better. Sorry to the rest of the crew. But yeah, now I have to look around a little more. Contact your fellow treasure hunter to send transportation once the next location is ready. Our next clue led us to a little tavern on the east end of the island where we got to enjoy a little snack before we got introduced to our captain for the day who also came with a new clue. So you might need these guys to get where you're going, okay? Break the seals. So let's see if we can figure it out. After solving the clue, we headed to Red Hook Dive Center to grab some gear that we needed for the day. Perfectly. I think now we haven't done this since a month. Yeah, last time we did it was a month ago in Indonesia. We didn't snorkel. Oh yeah, we dive. We still were using fins. Yeah. So yeah, excited to get them on the boat. Which one? We're headed on to the boat we're going to be on for the rest of the day, and we found out where we're going by solving the clues at the last spot. I can't tell you where we were, but. It was fun. So now we're going to a place that I love a lot. We've been there before. I don't think I can say it. Can I? No, you can't. You okay, can't, you can't. I can't say it. The boat is looking perfect. We have our own pirate flag. We're ready. We have sunglasses. 
the captain told us he has rum, beer and snacks on board. So I'm not worried. If we get stranded, I'm not mad about it. Let's go. You almost knocked me out. <laughs> Hi, my name is Scott Hamill. I'm a captain down here in the Virgin Islands. And we're going to go look for treasure today. Yes. Have you found any big treasures before? Every treasure is a big oh, treasure because amazing. it's a surprise, right? Yes. How many years of doing this? <laughs> yeah, I've been doing this for four and a half years down here. There's a great bunch of people down here. Nice. We're going to have a good time. I'm excited. If you guys seen the movie Into the Blue, you know where Jessica Alba and then we <laughs> dive down and they find a bunch of gold. That's the mentality I have today. The boat and the captain driving us around are from Seahorse Water Taxi. You can contact them if you need water taxi service or other day charters. The idea of tropical treasure hunts came about in 2016 because a guy was trying to impress a girl. He saw a treasure chest in his head when looking out at the beach and thought it would be cool if she found riddles and love notes around the island. It took 12 days to set up and she loved it as well as her friends who surprised her at the end of the hunt so he decided to do it for more people. Eventually, the owner became so passionate about creating treasure hunts for others so he quit his career in business psychology and started the business officially in 2018. We got to our first beach. I can't tell you where because it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be the same one for you guys. I can't tell you where. So if you're not a local, I don't think you're gonna recognize this but it's a stunning place so we're about to jump in the water we're just gonna show you how this area looks with the drone because it's beautiful and then uh, we will see you guys inside where we're gonna get the next clue the US Virgin Islands have over 100 beaches at least that's what I counted on Wikipedia so if you know what beach you're at don't tell anyone the water at this beach is so calm and you're almost guaranteed to spot turtles and stingrays guys we just went from the boat into the shore we did see stingrays we saw eels we saw a lot of seagrass that's meant for the turtles to eat now we're gonna head over to the bar and look for our next clue Am I and drink yeah and you gotta swim to shore with your belongings in this bag and your snorkel and fins and the water is so good like I mean it's the Caribbean so most of the time the weather will be nice but we heard that right before we got here, it was raining for a bunch of days. So we are so lucky to have this incredible weather while we're doing this adventure. It makes the water sparkle. And yeah, we're just so, so excited to have this tour today and have this weather. And now we don't even know where the rest of the crew is. Tip one, stick together with your crew. Don't lose the crew. Look at that. Found the Look at that seal. Clue. That seal's legit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna find out the next clue faster if I drink this pina colada really fast. It's probably the opposite, but... I need a bottle of rum to think it through. Island rum does good things for you. Yeah. Read your clues carefully and match them together if you be keen. <laughs> I left my camera on the boat, so we're filming from the phone right now. But this place is just stunning. The water is crystal clear. We got frozen pina coladas and this experience was just, it's so good. One of the last clues of the day was my favorite. We headed to a hidden cave of the north side of St. John where we again had to jump in the ocean to find our next clue. This is what will activate the bottles to come up to the surface and we're looking for an ancient bottle and this coin is gonna make it appear. <laughs> good luck to everyone involved. One, two, three. <laughs> I think I see them! Straight ahead, guys. I'm getting back up. But I see the bottle. <laughs> we see one more bottle coming. You make it look so effortless. Not. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I don't need fins, it's no. so easy. The current yeah. was way stronger than what I thought. We're not in the swimming pool. But Watch out. Look what I got back with. A bottle with a message and I still have the coin on me. <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty big accomplishment. Woo. Neither me or Bella died. Yep. My bottle too. I felt like James Bond the entire time. James Bond? James. That's the wrong adventure. Woo. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Yeah. Woohoo. Get the message in the bottle. Uh, 
Uh huh. This is hundreds of years old. Yeah, he literally stole it from the local museum. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I can't show you this guy's this top secret. Okay. But it says some really cool things in here. You have to do the tour to figure out what it says. <laughs> By now, we had solved all the clues and had all the pieces we needed to make the map complete to figure out where the last stop would be and to find out where the treasure would be buried. I'm Anthony with Tropical Treasure Hunt where we create immersive adventures in the form of an outdoor escape room that allows you to see the best of the Virgin Islands while doing various attractions such as snorkeling, kayaking in the mangroves. We have a spooky night treasure hunt with a haunted trail. We have augmented reality technology and this is the Salty Piracy Adventure. We hope you guys will check us out at Tropical Treasure Hunt on Instagram and Facebook and tropicaltreasurehunt.com. As the sun began to set, we headed over to the last secret beach where we would finally meet the cursed 300-year-old pirate we've been looking for. My name is Anne Bonnie, hey, and I've been waiting you for you for oh, a good while. You know, I was born in 1697, so it's been a bit of a bloody while. <laughs> Let's see what it is. <laughs> yeah, well. With the help of Anne Bonnie, our crew was finally able to locate where the treasure was buried and inside it, we uncover the chalice of internal life, finally freeing Anne Bonnie from her curse. Reverse the curse, you did it! She just found her love there. And then we all lived happily ever after. But there you have it guys, that is what a day searching for treasure in the Caribbean looks like. This is such a fun experience for adults, but also perfect for kids, of course. If you're interested in doing this adventure or any of their other adventures, you can check out their website here for more info. Thank you so much to everyone who made today's episode possible. We love showing you new activities to try here in the Caribbean, and we hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let us know in the comments below if you would want to try this. Next week, we're bringing you along to one of the most beautiful places we've been in the world, the British Virgin Islands. We have so much to show you in that episode, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. If you want a preview of what I'm talking about, check out last week's episode here, where you can see some of the highlights from the BVIs. Until then, happy exploring, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!